Alejandro Morales, a Georgia man, been charged after being accused of shooting his neighbor, Jalen Evans Jones, who asked him to lower his music. Morales is 51, he's only charged though with reckless conduct. Eric and Jalen Evans Jones said they decided to knock on Morales' door to ask him to turn the volume down when the unexpected happened, according to the outlet. He told the news station that his wife was shot through the closed door moments later. Music suddenly went off. I heard the racking of a gun and a shot fired. It was immediately thereafter striking my wife, he said, WSB TV with the reporting. She immediately yelled out saying, "Oh my God, babe, they shot me in my abdomen. And a black star filling in the details. Jalen was hospitalized and had to undergo multiple surgeries due to her injuries. Eric said the bullet struck her large intestine and is inside her body a few centimeters from her spine. He added doctors had to remove a portion of her colon, the news station reported. Couple said they no longer feel safe at the apartment complex and want accountability. Veranda Apartments will allow the duo to break their lease or change their unit. Atlanta News first reported. This is not the first time, of course, a knock on a door has led to violence in Georgia. What's going on here is the question. Last month, Daryl Bynes on the right. Of Atlanta sentenced to life behind bars for killing his 19 year old neighbor, Omarion Banks, on the left, who knocked on his apartment door in 2019. The Atlanta Journal Constitution reported Witnesses in court said the teen apologized for the mistake. However, he was shot multiple times by Bynes while he was running away. Of course, who could forget the cases of Kinsley White, Peyton Washington, Ralph Yarl, Kaylin Gillis, G.K. Owens? They were shot, similar circumstances across the country. I guess when there's a knock at the door, instead of just not answering or if you have a peephole, kind of seeing what's going on, it's shoot first. Explain later, Ben. There's just nothing you can say. You know, I was gonna make a joke about not keeping your music loud and how it bothers everybody. And then you show the photos of the people and you realize that, you know, some things are just not even worthy yeah. of any sort of joke. It's people are out of control. People were living in a lawless mind frame. And I really, I'm not trying to bring everything back to Trump, but when you have leaders at the very top that flout the law at every angle, of course, it's gonna make everybody think the laws don't matter. Rational, reasonable behavior don't matter. When the people who certainly are very familiar with the law can get away with it, then they think it's lawless. We live in the wild west now and you look at somebody funny and they can shoot you in the face. And and it's just very sad, it obviously needs to stop. And again, it's just through bringing to account bringing to punishment the people that are perpetrating these horrible crimes and at least trying to get the message out there that despite a rogue leader, despite rogue messaging coming from news networks trying to inflame people, you still can't take the law into your own hands. There still is society that's not crazy and not driven simply by ratings and money and your your crimes will come back to haunt you. I'm thankful. Uh, the the woman in Georgia who was with her husband did survive, but it is sick. And maybe when the one of the top guys is held accountable, other people may just get it. 